a man of many hobbies. Of course, when I say hobbies, I actually mean vices and addictions. But I, like many internet users, enjoy a good analogy. Very often the linchpin for debates and a Hail Mary in arguments, a well-executed analogy can make all the difference. And it can royally fuck you if you mess it up, as good old Mike are about to show us by letting some kind of goblin drink alcohol. So, lube up your cavities and shake your- Barbara, I'm doing a thing here. Your 1030s here, boss. My 1030. What are you on about, Barbara? Your video with Jim and I. Remember, you were supposed to do that Milo Stewart video together, but you did it on your own? I mean, you said you forgot, but it did look awfully suspicious. Yeah, yeah, okay, I remember, Barbara. Send him in, alright? Shit. Jim and I, how are you, buddy? Been waiting for you, mate. President Donald Trump decided to withhold Title X funds from abortion providers. Good, so you have to pay for your own abortions like an adult. God forbid you plan your own parenthood. I know, right? Fucking typical. We want to abort our babies. Okay, go ahead. No, we want to do it for free. Fuck, man, it isn't life-saving surgery. If anything, it's quite the opposite of that. Great video so far, 10 out of 10. And when I heard that, I knew I needed a drink. Why, are you too broke to get an abortion, so now you're gonna flush the fetus out of you the old-fashioned way? Oh, that joke was so dark it burned coming out. Just like the fetus. I'm going to hell. I'm going to pair today's headline with this wine. Wine is definitely the word, my little goblin-ess, though not in the way you think. Can't actually tell what wine it is or what year it was made, but <laughs> it's the perfect allegory. Yay, an unfunny chick drunk off wine is gonna teach us stuff. Oh great, that sounds like every night out in university. This can't go wrong. Usually these videos are full of whining anyway. Why not add some actual wine? Because no one wants to see her have a skin full, take off her top, and do the dance from Pulp Fiction. It would look like an epileptic on crystal meth. Wine is filtered. It goes through a process to remove something undesirable to the winemaker, not the wine. If only Mike did the same with their videos. This would be 10 seconds long. This wine is unfiltered, so it would have the choice to keep all of this sediment. All of this sediment. Just like you have the choice to keep all the services that Planned Parenthood offers. You just have to pay for them now. If you can't afford birth control or SDI tests, then you need to budget your money better. Or use your wine money to pay for it. Or maybe stop getting pissed on said wine and having unprotected sex with whatever stranger wanders into your midst, safe in the knowledge that you can just pick up a pill in the morning. Maybe a financial consequence will have some people take it a little more seriously. Growing up sucks, doesn't it, bird brains? This wine hasn't had its rights revoked yet. This wine hasn't had its rights revoked yet. Nice. Is this big bird looking bitch for real? Lady, you're not getting any rights taken away, you cheap wine drinking floozy. Oh my god, federal funding of Title X was revoked. My rights. My rights. It's really weird when you get into this argument of rights. The right to do what I want with my own body. And yet no one brings up suicide being illegal in the UK and is treated as a criminal act in some US states. Doesn't that fall under the same issue? Or is it just killing other things we care about? Abortion and hunting. Fuck it, let's put them together. Fire a fetus into the air and everyone takes shots at it. Tally ho! When you hold the wine up to the light, you'll notice it's pale gold color. Nice. Also that it's hella murky. Good to see you address your target audience so blatantly. Yeah, it's hella murky. I'm a young buck. I get down with the memes, yo. That dank wine is on fleek. That shit is lit, yo. All these salty savages want to low-key take away our epic rights, dog. Us woke homies gotta keep it 100 and drink fire wine to stay above the cringe, fam. All these bays who ship Trump are lame AF. Keck. Okay, that went on a bit too long, actually. I had to Google 90% of those, and I've never felt older than that moment. And I had to remind myself who I'm supposed to be taking the piss out of. Like Trump's decision to prevent abortion by removing funds that typically go to cervical and breast cancer screenings, birth control, and STI screenings. Not abortion. For one, you can still go to other places that accept Medicare to get those services, you lanky drama queen. And for two, I'm tired of people whining about having to pay for birth control and STI testing. I shouldn't have to pay for the consequences of you being a slut. 
Sure, accidents happen, but that's the risk you take when having sex. Plus, all of those bar the STI screenings are exclusive to females. Don't get me wrong, that shit is important, but you can't expect it for free forever. If only the far left could look around and realize, actually, it wasn't so bad after all. Why does it take the removal of something you took for granted for you to fucking acknowledge it? Smell it. Mmm, smells nice. Smell it. Mmm. Mmm, there are some really intriguing aromas from this wine. There's a strong, malodorous scent of inanity, a bouquet of incessant fuckery, and a faint whiff of bullshit. Dried pear, oh, citrus, and a little bit of herb, but I'm getting widespread revolt, though that just might be in the air. You're not lying, the air is revolting with you around. I'm revolted by the sight of your gangly existence. Yes, here we go again. Lift the jug and fill my mouth with that thick, sweet juice. Nice. Yeah, I'm getting the pear and the citrus I mentioned earlier, but also a caramel. Probably like the Werther's that Mike Pence keeps in his pockets. Because <laughs> he's an out-of-touch grandpa. Ugh, you use the same unfunny joke premise again? And every time you do, you sound like a fucking 14-year-old! Ugh, you just don't understand my generation! Stop trying to be funny. That joke was more of a stretch than your face. You're an actual advert for Planned Parenthood! And speaking of grandpas, why are your cheeks 70 years older than the rest of you? You look like a cross between Mrs. Potato Head and a Slinky! Also, fuck you, Werther's are delicious. Mm-hmm! Now where this wine really shines is in the second bottle. Oh hell, there's a second bottle! I'm gonna need for you to try very hard to stay dressed for the rest of this video, Ali! It doesn't so much taste as it does feel, and it feels warm. Oh, look at her cradling it like a little baby. Thankfully, due to the sterilizing effects of that face, this is as close to holding her own child as Ali will ever get. Like the news that most states have already reaffirmed their commitment to Planned Parenthood. This one hasn't had its rights revoked yet. Nice. So, so what has been the fucking point of all this? Really struggling for ideas, were you? All this has really been is Ali Kakesh indulging in some heavy drinking, which I'm pretty sure she was going to do anyway. You know, that's something. <laughs> anyway, cheers! What is she doing? You've got to take the metal bit off first, you camera-obsessed fuckwit! Ah, oh, the end. We got through without her getting her baps out. High five, everyone! Yeah, that's something, isn't it? Great argument, you shit-faced, wine-chugging strumpet. Well, fuck you, you feather-faced, branch-hopping, disease-carrying mother for- Oh, you were talking to her. Sorry. All you did was get drunk and misrepresent facts. Wait, are you talking to me? You're not getting any rights taken away. You can still get the services elsewhere under Medicare. You're not funny, and you shouldn't rely on taxpayers to pay for you to fuck anyway. Unless you're Monica Lewinsky, apparently. But keep drinking wine and hating on Trump. It's adorable. Plan your own parenthood, you lanky flop. I should imagine she's now gonna neck that second bottle, send some angry tweets to Donald Trump, and leave well over 30 voicemails on her ex-boyfriend's phone asking just what it was that turned him gay. Thanks for watching, guys. Special thanks to Gemini for helping me out with this one. Check out his channel. The link is in the description right beneath the link to my Patreon, which you should definitely consider clicking. The White Whale patrons and I have our first game night coming up soon. I'd love for you to be there. And remember... It takes two people to make a baby, but an entire country to abort it.